to be given a hug by Shimon Peres in this room is already my award. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these hugs have been going on for over 40 years because there is no greater friend of India in Israel than Shimon Peres. This is what brought us spiritually closer for so many decades. I don't think there is an important book on India that Shimon has not read. Shimon practically knows more about my country than I do. <laughs> and for all those years, when India had no representative in Israel, Shimon always named me unofficial ambassador. Post that I unfortunately had to give up in 93, when the first Indian ambassador came, was honored and presented his credentials to President Herzog. You know, after conducting over 3,000 concerts with the Israel Philharmonic in Israel and abroad, and I knew about this statistic only last week when I asked, because I knew I would have to give some information. I have been educated by some of the finest musicians I have ever encountered within the ranks of this orchestra. Today, the orchestra has been 100% engaged by me with, of course, advisory committees of the orchestra. But when I first came as a young man, I was 25, I had musicians in front of me that were really in their own categories, instrumental categories, giants in their profession on a world basis. And I have those musicians first of all to thank for what I learned in this country and in this organization from them. Similarly, it happened in Los Angeles also in those years. And my door was always open to these great musicians whom I had the pleasure to, as we say, conduct. But it was then conducting me also in the beginning. And in the last 50 odd years, we have grown generation by generation with this orchestra and conducted with them all over the world in many countries where, as you know, Israel is not entirely the flavor of the month. We will be leaving tomorrow, for instance, for Vienna, which, of course, I don't include in this group of countries, but we do play in places where the general opinion is not quite favorable to the policies of this country at the moment. That doesn't mean that we don't support the country, especially abroad. And what you heard in the beginning with these young girls, Arab and Israeli, Jewish and Arab girls singing, is a microcosm of my dream for this country. Simply and superficially said, if you can sing together, you can live together. I know, having been here for over 50 years, I know that this will happen. In our organization in the north, where these girls are part of the training program, we have over 150 young Arab children who not only play Arabic music, but come to us to study Western music. And our Philharmonic members, time to time, go and keep an eye on the teaching process there. And it's a wonderful, positive experience. In fact, we have five of those kids now studying at the Buchmann School at Tel Aviv University. And it is also my dream that one day one of these Israeli Arab children will play in the Israel Philharmonic. I know this will happen because the talent is there. I don't want to take too much of your time, but Shimon, this is such an honor. What 
Israel has given me for the last 50 years, I can only give back by having my musicians night after night play their hearts out for not only Israelis, but people all over the world. And we are going to be performing day after tomorrow in the great music fair in Paul of Vienna, and then going on to Carnegie. And even in the music fair in some way, we are doing a Jewish program of Mendelssohn and Mahler. <laughs> Both converted Jews, but still. <laughs> and in Carnegie Hall, we will be playing Schoenberg, Mendelssohn, and Noam Sharif. A program that we played with great success in Salzburg at last year's festival, where Noam Sharif's music depicting, first of all, the Holocaust with a baritone, a chazan, and a choir of men and boys, and then depicting the vision, the great sun of freedom rising over the new Israel. This was especially for the public in Salzburg, an eye-opener, as they read the words, very vital and strong words of the text. And we will perform this in the Carnegie. But ladies and gentlemen, this life goes on and on. Uh, we will soon be going to Japan and to Taiwan and performing New Year's Eve concert at the Great Hall of the People, where the Chinese Communist Party has its meetings on New Year's Eve. This will be broadcast by television all over China. You don't know what this group of hundred musicians brings all over the world for this tiny little country for whom I wish really in the future only peace and harmony and the vision of living with the two people together. Thank you.